Hello my dear students, this is Yakas SD and welcome to the ASD physics classes students. I hope so you all are doing really great. So students, in this video we are going to solve the question from the chapter electric charges and fields. This is the first chapter of the NCRT and for the JE also. <coughs> Hello my dear students, this is Yakas SD and welcome to the ASD physics classes. Students, I hope so you all are doing really great. So students, in this video we are going to solve the question from the topic Gauss's law applications. Okay, let's go through the question and let's learn the electric flux. A square loop of side A equal to 1 meter is held normally in front of a point charge Q equal to 1 coulomb. The flux of the electric field so the shaded region is 5 by P epsilon naught, Newton meter square per coulomb, where the value of P is how much, okay. So you can see very well here this Q value is given how much is there in a question, Q value is given here 1 coulomb and after that this side, this side is given here how much here, this side is given students here, the 1 meter is there see, A equal to 1 meter, okay. And we have to calculate the flux associated with this shaded region is there, now see this yellow color Shaded region is there na, in that way. So students here you remember that one thing. If you will see with the symmetry this is one of the surfaces of the cube. What I am telling here even if I will draw here this is one of the surfaces of the cube. See this. I will draw here now. Let us see this is the one cube. Okay. And uh, here also I am just going to draw here like this see. The cube I have drawn here. Is it? So see this one here. Is it? See this is the cube. So now what will happen right here if in case I put charge Q at the center, this uh, side of the square is how much here? A side of the cube actually, how much here? A. So what will happen that here, if I see here, how much flux is going to pass through this one? You can see very well as the charge is the very symmetric. So we can tell very well in this situation as flux through the six surface according to the Gauss law, what will be there? Flux from the six surface Q by epsilon naught, is it? That means the flux from one surface will be how much here? Can you guess until flux from the one surface how much here? Q by 6 epsilon naught now because from 6 surfaces Q by epsilon naught that means from one surface Q by 6 epsilon naught. But when you observe this diagram even this is not the complete uh, surface also. Na? Here they have given only this much region, this much only yellow region. That means here again we have to make the some section and some by the fraction method we will do here. Okay, so see here. If in case see here I have drawn here one vertical line, one like horizontal line, one inclined line, one inclined line, is it? So if I will see here, see here, this is the first one, this is the second, this is the third region, fourth region, fifth region, sixth region, seventh region and eighth region, okay? So you can see the our given region is the five regions out of the eight regions. That means in the fraction way we can tell the given region is the five by eight. How much? Here? Five by eight. Now because out of eight only how much is covered? Five. That means this flux is given by here five by eight into flux through one surface. And what is this? Here? Q by six epsilon naught. Is it? So here I can write here it will become here five Q by 48 epsilon naught. What is the value of Q? How much here? 1 coulomb. That means I can write here 5 into 1 by 48 epsilon naught. Okay. Now I will compare this with this one here. Here what is given? 5 by P epsilon naught. But here it is given 5 by 48 epsilon naught. That means you can see very well the value of P is how much here? The value of P is the 48. Is it? So students can see here very well how with the help of the Gauss law application electric flux we have done this question. Okay students keep studying. Keep going. 